Hey everyone. So today I got an opportunity to you know work on Docker uh, Postgres Python setup in my local. Uh, I had a little challenge uh, you know in terms of accessing uh, um, you know uh, accessing the Postgres uh, database outside of the Docker. So I thought to probably uh, I resolved finally, but I want to show uh, to our community probably the beginners one who wants to understand the setup of how we can. Uh, get the things done so probably it, it would help them you know how to set up the things at least for basic setups you know uh, uh, it, it, the docker has a huge uh, you know complex structure uh, for for any application if you want to write it um, but 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 for we can start with a simple uh, five to ten lines of docker setup and then you know we can uh, we can play around with the application the whole idea is as a data engineer uh, so we want to make the uh, system ready for the business users or the data analyst to you know consume our data right so that is the whole thing but uh, so that's what the 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 whole idea so yeah i just want to you know show uh, quickly uh, what i did on my application and what i was trying to do uh, basically uh, i wa i want to create a, a um, you know web application um, in the web application, I need a uh, one backend uh, database to, you know, access the data, uh, including the authentication, authorization. That is a that is the whole, you know, project idea behind the scene. Uh, but just for uh, sake, I created the the front end application um, using Fast API. It's a Python framework. So I just created the uh, basic uh, high level, uh, uh, you know, structure template. Uh, it just you know import the fast API library and then um, provide the asynchronous defined function and then I just return the um, the common uh, response we know the hello world right so that is that is the whole template I have given here um, and then uh, I want to consume the uh, both front end uh, back end framework so I don't want to install Postgres in my local uh, laptop um, and uh, I don't want to use, you know, uh, cloud service because I have to pay for that. So I realized, okay, there is an option in, in we can use, utilize uh, VMware, uh, VM machines or, uh, uh, you know, Docker kind of uh, structure uh, application. We can run the databases and the application. We can quickly evaluate it, everything. So, um, and then I start exploring what is the, you know, uh, option. So, this is the the whole uh, Docker Compose uh, ML file. So this is something you know um, you you could probably get it from the Docker documentation as well. Uh, but this is what I you know did so far. So we have just provide what exactly services, and uh, eventually I want to use the port of eight thousand uh, to connect my um, the front end framework. And uh, the database URL, uh, as I want to use Postgres for my database, so I'm downloading the image. Um, um, I mean, this is a database environment uh, uh, variable. So you can we can have this uh, environment variable in a separate file uh, when you go for a Kubernetes, you know, deployment cluster kind of thing. But we are not you know, uh, that level yet. So we are just setting the things in local to see how it works. Um, and then it it will download the uh, latest Postgres image from the Docker Hub. Um, so by default, it, the def it's come up with a username and password for Postgres. But we can hard code what password you want. So Postgres password and password. Um, and then yeah, so this is a typical uh, uh, YAML file, uh, I would say. And then in Docker file. Um, we have to mention um, what is the Python environment version you want to use it. This is typically, you know, within within the Docker, you have to specify the file system directory and the working directory, um, and then you know copy the requirement files because uh, if you are familiar with if you are from the Python background, you 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 might understand the requirements .txt file. How critical is that for you know um, moving uh, your code from one environment to another environment? 
that is the key point for the environment to start installing your package um so that that is that is a typically it's doing here it's just copying from the local to you know respective uh, working directory in the uh, docker environment and then just running the file and copy that and uh, and run the command so this run command this this is the main app which is nothing but this main program uh, main.py file and ubicon is the another asynchronous uh, server which is supported uh, by uh, which well work with the uh, fast api and then um, it is running on the local host or within the same uh, docker services and the port is 8080 so this is the uh, docker file um, so i just i mean uh, you, you uh, obviously you can have more you know uh, um, um, structured things we can add it but for for high level setup i think this is well enough to you know things move um so yeah so once you start that docker compose a build that will you know start bringing the download the images from the python image as well as the postgres image from um you know from docker hub and then it will uh, download here and uh, so uh, yeah this is this is running perfectly fine right so we just want to uh, make sure this is running or not so i'm going to um uh, check the url localhost 8000 yes we have a, a beautiful output hello world right so where is the postgres here so we uh, obviously we haven't set up anything uh, in front end framework to connect postgres but as part of the docker compose we uh, the docker image we used uh, postgres so uh, if you remember we we used the uh, postgres uh, database url and um, for a moment i'm just you know get rid of um, this thing so let me bring down this um bring down sorry so um i just you know um remove the another uh, port 5432 because i i want to show what the what what exact issue which i faced today um so now let it run back and see um now i want to connect my postgres database which is running within the docker container i want to uh access this database outside of the docker container so how could i do that you can if you use uh, py, uh you know uh, psql uh, um manager or you can uh, you can connect that or uh, you can download any uh, client tools and you can start accessing that so for um, for this for my testing purpose what i did is i just you know uh, connect this um uh, downloaded my uh, db visualizer is a is another client based tool uh, as you see here uh, i am using the local host because local host is the the host which is running our postgres and then 5432 is a database and then um um the username and password let's try to this connect and connect what happened um so it's up and running uh let's take a look on our docker okay so in docker we see two services running one is the fast api the web application which is serving on this port that's just before we we evaluated that and then postgres it's running um but you know we we are not able to access it right uh it 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 because you know um the database it's running within the container so that's a, a same issue there was a issue i was you know faced today uh, i was not able to connect um let's I believe this is the password five four three five four three two connect so five four three is connection to postmaster um 
Okay, so what I, you know, I went through the documentation and I went through the uh, Stack Overflow and figure out if we want to uh, access the Docker container service outside of the Docker, you have to map the port outside of the port, uh, outside of the Docker. So in this case, uh, 5432 is a port which is running uh, um, within the con container, Docker container. If I want to access the uh, Docker, the same port, I have to just map the port like this. Um, with the actual port mapping, it's called binding map. I mean, what are the term terminology, but it's, it's a syntax, I would say. Uh, the 5432, the first 5432 is, is within the Docker container port and 543 is the port which I want to connect outside of the Docker. So yeah, so just save it and um, um, you know bring down the service once again um, and then you know try to build and see now are we whether we can able to access or not. Before that, let's evaluate our uh, application. Yes, it's working fine. And go to Think Server. Yes, it's verified. Connect. Um, okay, connection attempt fail. All right, actually I need to you know, uh, restart the Docker uh, service because I downloaded the uh, many images which is which is got corrupted so i restarted the docker um so once you restart the docker um generally in, in my case so we can evaluate the uh, back end uh, this service like using this docker compose exc uh, c and db there's a database uh, name um, postgres the username and uh, d is hyphen d is the database uh, we can, you know, uh, we can quickly check that the database is running or not within the Docker first. If it is this command is succeeded, then we are good. And now um, let's execute the same command uh, or the the, the DB visualizer uh, client request now and see. And we are able to connect. So let's quickly you know uh, revert this back and uh, stop the game down build now let's reconnect so this is the exact issue which i you know which i faced today and i want to uh, show the uh, the fix what i did um, probably that would help uh, our community the beginners um, to to quickly solve the issue if, if they you know come across the same thing if i add it back so basically this is a port which is outside of the docker we are trying to connect um, stop this down again Remove and build. Running. Let's take a look on application. Working fine. Let's connect. Cool. All right. Uh, see you in next uh, interesting topic.